Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install OBS Studio in 2025. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So I'm actually going to jump right in and just going to type OBS here. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the first website. Make sure it's obsproject.com and you want to click right here. Now here we have three options. You have Windows, Mac and Linux. Now, I actually have Windows, so I'm going to select Windows right here. As you can see, it will start downloading up here in the right corner. Okay, then when it's done, you can see right here. Now you have two options here. You can do show in folder or you can just actually immediately open it because in this case, it's a .exe. So it means it's the setup file, which you can immediately open. But I'm just going to do show in folder for now. Okay, and there you go. As you can see, it should go to your downloads. As you can see, as I said, I have the setup, the installer right here. So I'm just going to double click on it. Now here, as you can see, we can actually just do next. Same here, this license agreement. Here we can also just do next. Now as you can see, quite important that you have enough space, of course, available on your PC to actually install this. Also very important, this actually where it's going to be the destination folder, so where it will be installed. And so do make sure. You can actually also browse if you really want to decide where you want to save it. But generally speaking, I really just advise you to let OBS decide here and just put it in program files and really not touch anything here. But that's up to you. So then of course you can click install. It doesn't take that long, it's actually pretty fast. And there you go, as you can see, now we can just leave this checked right here, the launch OBS, because we're just going to launch it here. And then you can click on finish. As you can see, a first window will appear here. And this is going to be actually quite important. Okay, now here's very important. Make sure you choose what you're going to use OBS for. Now, the first one is for streaming. And then recording could be secondary. And the second one is actually going to use it for recording and only recording. And the third one is if you want to use the virtual camera. Now, I chose optimize just for recording because all I do is recording. I never stream. So that's why I only choose recording. But it's, of course, up to you to see what you're going to do with OBS. Then right here, you have some video settings. I definitely advise you to do the base canvas at 920 by 1080. You can, of course, change this. But I definitely advise you to do at least 920 by 1080. And then the FPS, you could do either 60 or 30, or you can also just do 60. If you go to the drop down, you can also just choose 60 FPS, which I always do because I always want to make sure it's on 60 FPS and nothing below. And then right here, you see some final results like recording and coded use, the quality, the canvas as we saw, and then also the FPS. And so then you can do apply settings. Okay, there you go. Then you have some basic settings in OBS. Now, I do have some series that are about OBS, mainly the best settings you can get in OBS. I do definitely advise you to check that video out. It's up in the right corner here. If you really want to know how to set up OBS and actually get the best settings for your PC, because now, as I said, we only did the basics. I also have sometimes OBS updates, so if there are any new updates about OBS, it's also something you can check up here. Not always, but pretty regularly, actually, when there are pretty regular updates, I like to make some videos about it. And also thirdly, which is also pretty important, is actually how to make your voice better in OBS. The current recording that I'm doing right now, what you hear with my voice right now, is actually done within OBS. So if you're actually curious how to make your voice better within OBS, I also definitely advise you to check out this video also up here in the right corner. But those are just some videos, as I said, on my channel that could help you further with OBS, in case you were wondering. But in any case, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, it would be really nice. Subscribe it was really nice. And hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.